some of them are very dumb. They, they will prove it. The video is there, or the tape is there. You see, I'm surprised we have MPs who just consume information without digesting it. I'm not afraid. The tape is there. Let them play it, if I insulted any MP. I was responding to a chairman, MPP chairman in Ashanti region, deputy regional chairman. So where did I say that, uh, where did I insult parliament? Then I responded to my leader, which I have apologized, that, you know, when he has a problem with me, he should call me and ask. I'm not dragging the issue, but I'm only repeating what I said, that, you know, I respect him, but the way he tries to disrespect me, I don't like that. And when it comes to success, I don't think he has done better than me that every time he wants to discredit me. Is that an insult? You are led to have said that um, Parliament uh, form, uh, you know, you're speaking in the vernacular, which is... I said Parliament and IF. That is why the guy was able to talk the way he talked on Happy FM. Okay? And I have fought, and I repeat it because of the attitude Mutaka put up again. That without even a whole member of parliament, you don't even listen to the tape and you consume information and just come to parliament and say that I've insulted parliament. Let them play the tape. Where I insulted parliament. And we see, look, don't even annoy me and I say worse things. I'm not scared of anybody, okay? I'm not, I'm not, and I repeat, I'm not scared of anybody in this country. I live my life and I'm telling you, you see, they, they, they consume information, and that's a dumb statement he has ever made. Oh, so, so when you said dumb MP, the reference was to Munta Kamubarak? Yes, he's a dumb MP, and now I take him on, one-on-one. -on -one. Let him go to the Privileges Committee that I, Kenya Japan, says he's a dumb MP because he did not even listen to the contest of the, the, the issue and just drag the matter to a... Where did I insult parliamentarians? The guy rather insulted me, and I was responding. If he's not a dumb MP, now, now I'm saying it. If he's not a dumb MP, he wouldn't even have taken the thing to Privileges Committee because he did not even listen. Hey, my friend, I'm not scared of anybody. I'm telling you. I'm being very nice, but I'm pissed that they shouldn't challenge me. I, 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 you know, I'm restraining myself of uh, uh, the, the leader. But I will ask one question before I put down. If Mutaka wants a showdown with me, I'll give him a showdown. And I want to remind him during the vetting what he told me to go and tell Esla. Thank you. Well, both MPs will be appearing before the committee on Thursday, on Tuesday rather. Minority spokesperson on legal affairs, Inusa Fuseni, says Kennedy and Japan's latest utterances against the chief whip are unfortunate. He's urging him to apologize to the House generally beyond that offered to the majority leader. Well, that's very unfortunate. Uh, a statement like that coming from the Honorable Member of Parliament. The, yes, the motion was moved by the, a Member of Parliament and seconded. And then there were contributions from both sides of the House. And Parliament as an institution made an order. If you believe that what you said was not an affront to the dignity of Parliament, you don't go back to the media to castigate those who complain about the conduct. You go before the Privileges Committee and then explain. That is a decent way of getting yourself exonerated from an otherwise uh, bad situation. But you don't go back to the media. I mean, that is not the way to do it. At this juncture, should the committee consider, you know, consider applying possibly the worst of sanctions? Well, well, no, 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 no. Looking no, no. at the let's not, jump, let's not jump to conclusions. Uh, this is a fair institution. Uh, let's get him to appear. Let him well advise himself to appear before the committee, and then we'll see what the committee will recommend. And, and your expectations are that? The expectations are that if he strongly feels that he never said anything which was untoward, which was not an affront to the dignity of parliament, the committee, which is constituted by people of uh, capable minds, will come to a conclusion which parliament will be satisfi satisfied with. And so for me, the most important thing for, for us now is for him to appear before the committee. Let me throw in the second issue. NIA, they are done. They
today's the last day in parliament. Well, Majority Leader Osechi Mensabunsu has meanwhile confirmed Kennedy Ejipong has apologized to him. He, however, says whether or not the issue be allowed to die should be left to the House. Tomorrow will be exactly two weeks ago um, when he called me very early in the morning from China to apologize to me and um, when he finished, he didn't end up with me, but he called my wife and apologized as well to, to my wife. That was, um, as I said, two weeks ago. Yesterday when he came to the chamber, he came to repeat it to me that um, he was apologizing and that he was going to use the same medium that he used um, <clears throat> to um, attack me to go and, uh, you know, offer his profound apologies. And this morning he came inquiring whether I, I heard him and if I did, whether I have forgiven him. What else can you do? What else can you do? So I heard him and I think that um, life must go on. So for you, it's probably about time curtains are drawn on this and, and bygones are by. I am an individual. But see, the visceral attack was also against Parliament as an institution. And we do know that Parliament has referred his conduct to the Privileges Committee. If he goes and is able to explain himself well, who knows? Um, but I'll leave that to the Privileges Committee. A while ago, he went further to describe the MPs who first raised the issue, mentioning Muntaka Mubarak in particular. Uh, you know, went on to describe him as a damp MP who didn't listen to the tape and went on to demand that he be dragged before the Privileges Committee. Does this muddy the waters further in terms of trying to bring a closure to Not them? to prejudge. I wouldn't want to prejudge in history. The matter is before the Privileges Committee. Having heard what you are saying to me now, if indeed he has said so, I believe that it will be part of the evidence to be adduced before the Privileges Committee.